Okay, now the first thing um, I'm going to do in this video is um, show you one little uh, UV texture editor maneuver or operation and that is uh, I'm going to join these UVs here. Uh, the reason for that is that um, we don't want or we want as few seams in our UV texture as possible. Because we're doing normal maps, um, seams in the texture are the enemy. Um, at the moment, um, uh, the UV map is, um, is laid out almost exactly as the geometry is laid out. So these, these are all square, these are all square, um, which means that it really is perfectly proportioned. Whatever we put on here would be on here without any distortion at all. Uh, but um, much as that is a, um, a very attractive um, prospect, the problem is that uh, doing that uh, we will have um, seams at these corners uh, which will um, which will cause problems in our normal maps and so we will trade off a little bit of distortion in order to have a seamless map. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, right click and hold down the right mouse button and select UVs and I will drag a selection, bo uh, selection box around each of these corners um, uh, that I want to merge. There we go. Now, because these are um, these UVs um, are all actually part of uh, single vertexes, it means that they they are actually the same UV coordinate. It's just that they are. Uh, split at the moment um, in the UV map uh, because they are the same um, point in the in the real world, <laughs> real world in the uh, in geometry. Um, it means that we can uh, perform a fairly simple operation of uh, move and sew in order to get these um, to snap together. And so once we uh, click on the move and sew button. You'll see that it's sort of like the merge vertices tool uh, or merge vertex tool. Now um, it has merged everything up and made it nice and um, seamless, but I do want a little bit more space um, here between this corner and this uh, this edge. Um, make this slightly less squashed in the texture. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to scale mode um, in the UV texture editor and I'm just going to just going to stretch these out just a little bit just so that we sort of split the difference between um, these being completely squashed or being um, completely stretched out along this edge. So we just sort of try and find a middle ground. That's that. I'm, I'm happy with that for our, for our UV texture. Now we'll just come back here and um, the first uh, thing I want to do now is I want this to be uh, curled up into sort of like a, um, uh, a quarter or a half pipe shape. So the way I'm going to do that is first I'll go back to object mode and then I'll go to the deformation menu um, and you can you can get to deformations Right, it's under the animation menu. Um, so I'm going to select a non-linear bend with my object selected. And there we go, we have this nice little line drawn through the uh, center of our object. Now there are a couple of problems with this at the moment. Um, if, we, um, if we actually go to the bend options, we don't have any curvature on our, um, on our bend deformer. But if we do apply some curvature, you'll notice that it sort of looks a bit funky. So just take that curve off and we can we can leave that uh, 0.3 on just as a sort of an indicator of, um, of which way it's curving. So with this guy selected, uh, I'm just going to go to 
the rotate make sure that I'm in the rotate tool now the um, the way that I want to have this rotated is firstly in the um, X rotation I'll make that 90 now we can see from the top view that we're actually bending around corners like this and that's not what I want well not yet but maybe later uh, but um, we need to bend in this axis and we can see that that's the Z axis so we will turn that to 90 and there we go we've got the curvature going the right direction and then we'll go down here and we can turn the curvature up to something like well we'll try one and um, there we go um, let's just see how that looks in a side view and um, that's not bad now what I will um, what I want is for uh, this edge here and this edge here to be at 90 degrees to one another and it's a little difficult to um, to actually work out um, when we're looking at these as diagonals we can sort of see that the the actual um, the jaggies the um, the aliasing of this line means that it isn't quite 45 degrees to the horizon or to the uh, perpendicular um, so what I might do is I might actually move this line back and so this face is going to be um, straight up and down and this face is hopefully going to be completely horizontal so the way that I will do that is uh, first I'll take the curvature down to zero and I'm going to switch over to the move tool just tap W and uh, what I want is for the uh, center point here to be um, butted up against this um, uh, this set of polygons here so in order to do that um, I'm going to hold down the V key now the V key is a bit like the X key except that the V key snaps to uh, points or vertices so holding down the V key I'm going to drag uh, on the blue arrow the, um, the Z key until the center point of this um, bend deformer is right there in the um, in the polygons at the end there uh, now if we turn this up we can see that um, the bend is centered there but it only goes up to about the midway point on this um, this actual object so uh, what I'm going to do is with the high bound selected uh, that's the um, the other end I'm going to turn that down to zero because we don't need that to to be affected and the low bound I'm going to turn that up uh, well down technically to negative two and that takes us all the way um, up to the uh, to the end of our object uh, now we need to take the curvature down until it's sort of like a 90 degree angle now that's pretty close but we can make it something a bit smaller we'll try 7.75 okay how about 7 8 getting there and I'm going to try 7 8 5 and that looks very close um, if I zoom right in you'll see that um, yeah there's like a there's like a little pixel of difference there but 785 is about as close as I can get to a 90 degree angle um, with just three decimal points uh, places there and so I'm happy to leave it at that um, the reason for that is that I can actually um, snap these points up to where they need to be anyway to make sure that they um, they line up. 